All right, guys, what we have today is a gazelle, five-sided gazebo. Uh, not a tent, just a gazebo. Uh, not gonna do an unboxing because I think those are boring, but I've read a lot of reports where people have said they've got these and the staples and the packaging have gone through the gazebo, uh, caused rips and tears. So just gonna open this one up real quick and verify that nothing's wrong with it. So we're gonna carefully cut it open and get it out of the box. I didn't have any problems with it. No staples in it, looked packaged just fine. Nothing too crazy. So, gonna get this out and see if we can get it set up. Show you guys what it looks like. So this is gonna be a pretty quick uh, showing of how to set up the gazelle gazebo. Pretty quick as in you can see that sun is setting. We've only got, I don't know, five minutes of sunlight left. So uh, in all fairness, I have done this twice already today. So I'm familiar with what's gonna go on. So it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, so we're gonna set it up, show you how simple it goes, uh, show you around inside of it a little bit and go from there. So we're gonna set her up. So these are the poles. You just look for these. There's five of them on the sides, one on each side. Grab them and pull and it kind of pops that whole side out. One thing I think I am going to do is put like a, maybe some bright pink paracord or something on there just makes that stand out a little bit more so that when you're opening it up, you can see where to pull. Might make it easier if it's doing it in the dark. And once you get all the five sides pulled out, as you saw, we just came in, pushed up on the center. So I'm uh, right at six foot tall, maybe just a t touch over, and there's probably a foot before I hit the ceiling. So it's uh, plenty tall enough for just about anybody. Got this real fine, not a normal like window screen. It's a real fine screen. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's got, I don't know, it's just really fine. I don't think anything's getting through that. No bugs or anything. Lots of reinforcements, lots of attachments. And pretty good size. And easily set a little table in here and several chairs. Get you out of the weather and out of the bugs. screen it might be set up just a little crooked I just as you saw kind of did it fast but 
no big deal. I'll just straighten it out before you stake it down. I don't think it's an issue. I think it'll work just fine the way it is. There we go. It's just that one side was tucked in a little bit. So, you see how easy it goes up. Let me show you how easy it comes down. Again, uh, this will be the third time I've done this, so it's not like I've done it a lot, but just enough to figure it out. Pretty simple. Start taking her apart. Okay, so that was set up and take down. Pretty quick, pretty easy. See how it goes. Uh, this gives you an idea of just how it fits in the back of the 4Runner. It fits, not great, but it fits. Uh, you probably just get strapped to the Prinsu rack if it gets taken anywhere, unless there's absolutely nothing else going, but uh, it's a pretty inefficient use of space to do this, so. Overall, I'm impressed. Uh, seems a very quality piece. I don't think it's gonna give us any troubles, but we're gonna use it quite a bit. And, uh, you know, we'll do a follow-up review after some use to, to let you know how we like it or dislike it. But I think we're going to enjoy this one. I think it's going to work good. Again, it's, it seems pretty quality. So that's that. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.